Hey guys, welcome back to Andy's Dinosaur Reviews, and today we have a very cool 2021 figure from Safari LTD to take a look at with you guys. This is the mythical Triceratops, and it is a really cool looking figure, something that personally I don't know how sold I was on initially, although actually having it here in hand, I am way happier with the figure than I ever thought I would be, and actually having it here in person really kind of makes me feel like this has a very Dinotopia type of a feel to it. So that's, I think, one of the most appealing aspects to the figure and kind of one of the things that is really making me like it overall. Of course, Safari LTD sculpting it and painting it beautifully helps a lot as well, but I was a big fan of the Dinotopia series growing up, so seeing this figure here again is really exciting as far as that similarity goes. But before we go any further with the review, I do want to remind you guys that Safari LTD has graciously has supplied me with a discount code for you guys to use and make sure that you use that code to get yourself 15% off of any purchase that you are interested in making on the Safari LTD website. I will actually include a link in the description that you can just click that link, head over to the Safari LTD website through that link, and it will automatically apply that code. So make sure you use that to pick up this or any other figure from the Safari LTD website that you are in fact interested in. Again, a huge thank you to Safari LTD for that code. But this figure, again, looks incredibly cool here at first glance, but the only way to truly tell how cool it actually is is with a closer look, so let's go ahead and do that right now. So starting up here at the head sculpt of our Triceratops, look at the beautiful scale detail that is included with this Triceratops. That is really, really nice scale detail included throughout the entire head sculpt of the Triceratops, and I think it looks great, as well as the coloration. They've chosen a really nice, very realistic and natural looking colors, I think, for the Triceratops, and they've beautifully applied them as far as this brown goes. It's like a really nice, kind of a lighter brown, and then they have this darker brown that stripes up through the eye and then over here into the nostrils and then you can also see it kind of striped down throughout the entire frill of the Triceratops and it looks really really cool overall as far as that goes beautifully and naturally applied also. The eyes are glossed really nicely and painted with a black. You can see they look very lifelike, very realistic. The nostrils are sculpted out really nicely as well. And then you can also see that they kind of have like this off-white that starts right here and then borders the frill. As you can see, it runs across the entire length of the frill. Very nice, flashy, little subtle amount of paint that I feel like really amps up the beauty of the face quite a bit. You can also see lots of really nice detailing is found within the beak of the Triceratops beautiful cracks and crevices all throughout the entire beak of the Triceratops and you can also see that same deal as far as like the spikes up here on the face you can see that again as far as the detailing aspect goes they are just gorgeous in every way so many cracks and crevices included that it just looks off the charts beautiful you can see the tongue inside the mouth as well and you can see a very nice gloss coat is included so that it looks nice and realistic inside the mouth as well Beautifully done there, and you can again see that really nice gloss coat to the eye over here. Again, the paintwork on this figure is just incredibly well done. And then looking up here at the horns on the head here, you can see that there's kind of like some armor over top of the tips of the horns, and that's painted with a really nice silver coloration, and kind of has like a wash that almost insinuates like some rust on them as well, just to add a little bit of extra realism. I think that is a very, very cool touch on the part of Safari LTD. You can see that there, I would think, potentially, if my camera would focus on it. There, you can really see how beautiful that looks. Such a really cool little addition is that. And then once we move back here into the body, you can see some nice creasing in the neck region of the Triceratops. Lots of really nice creasing, especially as you lead up into the top of the neck, because you can see the Triceratops kind of has its head lifted up in the air a bit, so it would be kind of wrinkling and scrunching that skin up up there at the top of the neck. Very nice attention to detail on the part of Safari LTD. And then as we move back here into the body, you can see the shoulder blade quite nicely right there, as well as some more incredible skin detail as we move down the leg. Beautiful scales all over the legs of this Triceratops. Nice creasing right here in the joint of the elbow. You can see the nicely painted nails, although they're a little sloppy in certain areas, but for the most part, they look really quite nice. You can also see some more armor that is right here on the front leg, and you can see that that as well is painted similarly to what we had seen up there on the tips of the horns with a beautiful silver coloration, and then kind of given that wash that sort of insinuates a little bit of like rust or something, or just some color variation to the 
armored areas and you could see that up here as well and they actually have like a spike effect to the top but the armor is actually really really well done like you can see that looks beautiful as far as the actual sculpting goes and that really nice silver coloration that they've applied helps it to shine and just overall look really really cool and again definitely takes me back to the Dinotopia series I really like the overall appearance to this figure so much more than I ever expected to you can see that the brown coloration, that darker brown, continues to run down from the upper side of the dinosaur. Lots of beautiful creasing going on here within the body as far as like the legs moving and pushing into the body and kind of scrunching up the skin. Just generally showing off lots of really nice movement within the body of the Triceratops. You can get a sense of the musculature in the thigh area back here, but the armor is kind of covering it up a little bit. But you can still see the musculature that is included there, as well as the kneecap here in the front of the foot Coming down into the leg, you could see the very nice foot sculpt, lots of really nice creasing there in the foot region as the leg transitions into the foot, kind of scrunching that skin up really nicely. And you can see the nails are painted beautifully yet again. And then we come up here into the tail, and we can see how beautiful that scale detail is as we lead out the length of the tail. And again, we have some more of the armor right here with actually a very large kind of a spiky deal here on the end. And you can see the straps that are holding that on. And uh, again, everything is gorgeously painted. Everything is nice and carefully painted. It is so beautifully done. And everything on this is so perfectly painted. It's very impressive, if you ask me. The underside of the Triceratops sports a lighter coloration, almost like a light gray coloration. Very nice scale detail here on the underside as well. That looks really, really good. And then if we take a look at the opposing side, there's not going to be too much difference on this side in comparison to the previous side because... Again, the Triceratops isn't really doing anything crazy as far as the movement goes, but you can see the head sculpt looks gorgeous over here as well, like we had seen on the previous side. Again, some more nice wrinkling going on back here. You can get a little idea of what the rear of the frill looks like. Beautiful skin texture back there. And on this side, we could see more of the skin scrunching up in the stomach region because both legs are really pushing into the body on this side. And you could see that there is just a lot of skin wrinkles going on in pretty much every area on this side of the Triceratops. The leg sculpts over here also look beautiful. And I love the way they're painted as they kind of appear to have like a nice light wash applied to the legs so that the scale detail pops really nicely. Like you can really see it as you go further down into the legs of the Triceratops that that kind of wash that they have applied there really makes all that scale detail pop in a beautiful and very realistic way that was a really nice touch on the part of safari ltd and again we have more of the armor over here like we had seen in the previous side again painted to perfection and given that nice wash that sort of insinuates again like a little bit of a rusty look or at least that's my takeaway from it and again we run out the length of the tail nice creasing here in the rear of the thigh and the tail looks gorgeous as far as both these sculpt the paint and the very cool armor that is up here on the top. The Triceratops looks nice and big and uh, very strong, I would say, as far as the way that they have sculpted the figure out. So that makes sense. Again, if it's a dinosaur like this, clearly armored up to head into battle, it would make sense that you would choose a big, strong animal like this to go into battle with. But again, a gorgeous job on the part of Safari LTD as far as this figure goes. It is impressive in every way, and I am absolutely loving this figure so much more than I ever expected to. As far as a size goes on the Triceratops, being a Triceratops, it's a pretty decently sized figure, pretty much what you would expect, but it's about the seven and a half inch range or about 19 centimeters in length. And for a height to the back there, you are looking at about the three and a quarter inch range or around the eight and maybe a little over eight centimeter range. And then to the tip of the horns here, you are going to see it at about just shy of three inches or about seven and a half centimeters for a size comparison here are a few randoms of past and present safari ltd figures next to our armored mythical triceratops you can see we have the 2021 baryonyx back there as well as an older release of an Overraptor from safari ltd both gorgeous figures and you can see next to this triceratops again that the triceratops does sport a pretty good size i would say it's a strong contender for a medium size range but still quite impressive overall as far as the size department goes. So this Safari LTD 2021 Mythical Triceratops is awesome. Again, initially when I had kind of seen a few teases of the fact that they were going to be making mythical dinosaurs, I was like, well, that could be cool, but it's not necessarily something that I personally 
am super interested in until my brain actually started to work and I kind of associated it with the Dinotopia series and I realized that there was some strong similarities between the two and uh, then I really started to like it a lot more because as a child I read the Dinotopia book. I loved that book so much and then I ended up seeing the series that was on TV and I also loved that so like I have a very strong nostalgia like feel to the Dinotopia series so once I initially pulled this Triceratops out of the box took a look at it it instantly brought the Dinotopia feel to my head and I just I've loved it ever since that moment and it's just a gorgeous looking figure again a really really nicely done sculpt if you even take away the fact that there's armor on it and just look at the Triceratops on its own it is beautifully sculpted really nice scale detail throughout the entire figure every aspect of the figure is incredibly highly detailed looking at areas like the horns and the beak and everything the cracks and crevices within they're so beautifully done so much incredible detailing the aspect of like the movement shown throughout the sculpt with skin wrinkles beautifully sculpted in every way and then you add on the armor and the armor as well is incredibly cool and also incredibly highly detailed and then just again takes you straight to Dinotopia as far as the feel of the figure goes and then the paintwork on all of it is incredibly well done the eyes are so lifelike so beautifully glossed and painted to perfection and then of course the coloration in general of the Triceratops is very nice very realistic looking tones of color as far as I'm concerned all beautifully and naturally applied and then the actual painting of the armored areas as well is really really well done with a very nice very shiny metallic looking silver and then again kind of like a wash that sort of insinuates maybe a little bit of rust to just add that extra bit of realism and the entire appearance to this is so creative and so cool that I really must commend Safari LTD for kind of thinking outside the box coming up with something so fresh and so new definitely something that I personally am a big fan of and I really hope that they continue to create figures like this in the future as far as these sort of mythical dinosaurs go so if you would like to pick this up make sure you head to the description and use the link that I will provide for you because once again Safari LTD has included a discount code of 15% off that you can use to purchase any Safari LTD figures on the website again this code is exclusive to my channel so a huge thank you to Safari LTD for supplying that to us so make sure you use the link in the description to head on over to the Safari LTD website the code will automatically be applied and then you can purchase yourself some incredible Safari LTD figures with an extra discount and save yourself a few bucks or you can of course use the code Andy at checkout to again save yourself that 15% off but it's probably easier to just head to the description and use the link provided for you but regardless make sure you pick this figure up make sure you use that discount and make sure you also like comment and subscribe and I will see you in the next review thanks for watching